I'd rather see a whale tied to a balloon than a I don't, but I don't think it hits the challenge as much. There's other people in the room. You don't have to worry about me all the time. I'm never worried about you. You haven't shut up about me and my piece. You, you haven't guys shut up out. at all. Oh, Steve Z, you're the coolest. Color illustrative Zeus and Pegasus on my arm. Zeus and Pegasus, Melora. Josh. Me and you, girl. Full color Zeus and Pegasus. Steve played this really well. I'm the number one guy to try to knock off. Are you 110% sold on your form? Yeah, pretty much. My canvas's arm is thinner than my wrist. How am I gonna create the most powerful Greek god of all time and Pegasus on what might be the smallest canvas I've ever worked on? That is super little. I don't tattoo with a magnifying glass. She will not move it. No convincing on the spot change. She was not touching it. Steve got me good with that one. Right now, I'm super confident in Zeus's face, so I'm gonna add the Pegasus. Just make sure that it doesn't look like two pieces when it's done, you know? Oh, yeah. Steve hit me with a curveball, and I'm gonna make him eat his words. Josh. I really like this face. I really like the dynamics. I really like the details. I really like the value and the tones and the shading. You played a smart move here in putting this Pegasus in the background to give yourself some time to focus on the character itself. But that one little cloud coming off the back of the wing needs more. If it's between you and one other person and you have these unfinished areas, that's what you got to watch out for. Nope, I know. It's just that there's one spot. I know how to handle this complexion. I've dealt with it hundreds of times. But right now, two or three lines just kind of cut open a little bit. If this whole tattoo turns out like those couple lines did, his whole arm's gonna look more undead than this raven. There's nothing I can do now. The trauma happened, it's in front of me. I have to do the best tattoo I could possibly do because the judges have one reason to send me home and I'm not gonna give them another. You might have cut that dude. I'm telling you, the part that's lined, if I pour water on this arm, the water will run down and run right in that rib line. That could be a huge game changer. I like this tattoo. I love the little details in the mouth and the little sickness coming out of there. You did a really great job leaving a lot of open skin so that it's very legible. No questions about it. This is a bird that's rotting on the ground and came back to life. But there's multiple trauma spots. The lines on the rib cage, you can actually see this trauma there. I'll definitely own up to it 110%. That little nick happened and I had to adjust quickly and I had to make sure it didn't happen again. But this is the best tattoo that's been done this whole competition. I would wear this thing, dude. Well, this one's basically all about lines, so whoever's got some clean lines is gonna do good in this Your challenge. Your boy's afraid to pull lines, bro. I don't think he's afraid. My canvas wanted a hot air balloon with a compass for a basket, and I swayed her into this really awesome design of this balloon carrying this mother whale and its infant. I can pull off a compass, but it's just not gonna be that cool. I'd rather see a whale tied to a balloon than a I compass. Don't, but I don't think it hits the challenge as much. There's other people in the room. You don't have to worry about me all the time. I'm never worried about you. You haven't shut up about me and my piece since you, you haven't shut up out. at all. Oh, Steve Z, you're the coolest. Team DJ, you're up. Josh. It is a definite, unique idea. I like the whales hanging by the ropes. I love the tension of detail in this netting that goes across with the shadow underneath. All these little squares and triangles that you've created, the color is solid in each one of those little areas. I mean, looking at this compared to what I've looked at in the room, it's a relief. Thank you, guys. All right, judges, time to determine winner of best tattoo of the day. For me, it's Josh. What I like about this tattoo is that you were able to take an idea that was potentially pretty stiff and turn it into something artistically really interesting. Without a doubt, my vote is for Josh as well. Chris. Unanimously, Josh. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Josh. Congratulations, man. Where do you want to get this portrait? I was uh, thinking my butt. Yeah? Yeah. Are you set on that? Oh, I'm pretty set, yeah. Somewhere else on your body, is it an option? Nope, I'm pretty much covered. Do you have a color in mind? Red. Red? Yep. I want the Oliver Peck portrait, but if you're doing a portrait tattoo, you need to be completely accurate. 
Asses tend to be real soft, so it's hard to be precise and exact. Yes, sir. There you go. There you are. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Josh. Right here. I knew that was coming. Oh, I got to do it. Let me see what I'm working with here. I mean, man, if you'd let me go, like, right there, I could go pretty good size, and that spot on your leg is open. Mm. It'll give us, we'll be able to get way more detail because the skin's a lot more solid and forgiving. Yeah. Man, I was thinking about more of the butt. Let me knock this thing out of the park, my man. Well, if you want to do it there, let's do it. Killer. You're the man. You're going to make cool, my man. life easy. I'm going to make sure I kill this thing. All right. I'm stoked about how this thing's gonna look. It's gonna be ridiculous. My goal is to make my picture look like a black and gray Orchard of Oliver run through a red filter. That's what monochromatic means. Everyone else's looks like a normal portrait, just shaded with kind of the wrong color. Everything you have right here in this mustache, yeah. if you line that with a three or something, yeah. you, it's done for you. Yep, and then just, then just shade off it. That's the plan. I'm gonna knock this out of the park and make this a landslide victory. All right, next up is Team DJ, Josh. As far as this looking like Oliver, it hits that 100%. He really hit the wrinkles under the eyes. Oliver definitely has these deep cheeks. This mustache and the facial hair are killer. I mean, it is me. It's weird to look at it. Man, that's my nose. Like, that's not just a nose. It's kind of like my nose. That's like my nose. Even the one little chip tooth I have, the front tooth, it shows. I mean, all these little things that kind of make me a funny looking guy all come to life in this thing. I like your approach on the monochromatic idea. More of an earthy tone, but it's deep, it's solid. There's a lot of saturated areas. The highlights are very pronounced. It's miles beyond what we usually see on Portrait Day here. Thank you. It is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. For me, the two that stand out the most are Juan and Josh. I agree with that. When I look at the one that Josh did, I am more drawn to that tattoo. It's just a great likeness. Just in detail alone, detail in the mustache, detail in the mesh of the hat, looks really hard to pull off. One, for not being a portrait guy, I definitely give you the nod for pulling this thing off the way you did. But at the same time, Josh gets the best of it today. I go with Josh, but Juan, you killed it. I gotta go for the pecker. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Josh. Well done, man. I don't think you could ask for anything better. Doing a 12-hour tattoo like this is not an amateur level thing. Your design has to be perfect, your application has to be perfect, and just your understanding of how to approach something on this scale is a totally different animal. We are so much farther ahead than anybody else. I'm choosing to do more of a Japanese-style frog flying a koi fish kite. I'm gonna bust my ass and make sure that every inch of this tattoo is absolutely flawless. Josh is definitely going to be the hardest person to beat for me. He's not only fast, but he's also a great illustrator. You've already beat everybody just with the drawing. So if you execute this tattoo like you do every other one, your name should be the first person called going to that finale. Josh. The illustration is really, really cool. You pretty much bring the traditional Japanese into the modern era with your own style on it. All of the color application on this tattoo is beautiful, but what I like is that you do some of this color application solid wall to wall. You do other pieces where you shade off the color. You really did hit as many of these skill sets as you could pack into one tattoo. It comes off really, really slick. Thank you very much, guys. It's time to determine who had the best 12-hour tattoo of the day. I feel like we see four good tattoos, but Josh, for me, everything that we've tested on in this competition, this tattoo knocks it out of park. You've been drawing your designs. You've been doing things that were out of the box. You made tattoos that were fun to look at. That is what we look for in this competition. Definitely Josh. Going with Josh. Oh, that feels good. The judges have decided the best 12-hour tattoo of the day goes to Josh. Congratulations, man. You've earned the first spot in the finale. Yes! <laughs> Boy. Oh, that is everything that we have gone through and every bit of bull <laughs> that this competition has brought was worth every second of it. I came in and I talked a big game, and I'm here to win this whole damn thing, and this is the piece that's going to solidify it. So basically, that's what we're going with. That's awesome. I went a lot bigger than the other two are going to go, but I said, it, let's go for it. From Team DJ, Josh, come on over here, man. 
and reveal. You got a lot of coverage here, certainly the biggest piece that we've seen tonight. Yeah, I wanted to come out and just deliver something huge, epic, grand. This whole entire ride with everybody here has been that big. Trying to capture these animals and the whole body, the whole fight. There was no way I was keeping it on a chest, so I said, let's go big and let's go for it. The first downside of this for me is the size of the dragon versus the size of his claws. Small claws for a huge dragon. Again, keeping in mind the relationship of each piece in within itself and against its opponent, is what makes these battle royales flow. As far as your tattooing goes, I think this thing has some really amazing features to it. I love the eagle. I love the snake. You know, these have a, a really strong look and your color palette is strong. What I do like is that you did go in and leave a lot of skin breaks. You did leave a lot of open skin. You did show that ability to go from ink to skin really smoothly. It is super detailed. It is packed to the gills. It is super clean, super smooth, bulletproof, solid Josh Payne. Killer tattoo, man. Thank you very much. Juan and Josh, you've made it to the top two, but only one of you will win $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. This is a really tough one just for the fact that each one of you guys have one piece of this that is bothersome, and then you have other pieces of this thing that's really strong. I wish Juan's dragon was more powerful, and I think Josh's eagle head in the sternum is very camouflaged. For me, as big as Josh went, it lends it to be a lot more breathable. I think Juan's positioning of the eagle is a little bit off, but technically Juan's tattoo is so smooth and soft. I think that Josh has more saturation. It's two different styles of tattooing, so it's hard to really... This really is a tight race. Let's bring it in. All right, guys. The judges have decided. Josh. Yes! 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 You do have what it takes to be Ink Master. Yes!